Hey everyone, welcome to the video of the week. Today's video of the week is my top three and least favorite Sims 4 packs. So, I will be starting out with least favorite first. Um, and it's, I'm just going to tell you briefly what or why I don't like these packs. It's not that they're bad packs, don't get me wrong. But, it's just like something about them I don't care for or something like that. So, first, uh, number three, I would say, is Backyard Stuff. So, Backyard Stuff was a pack that you get in The Sims where you get pretty much stuff for your backyard. Like, um, a slip and slide and some, like, new stuff for your kids or whatever to play around on. And so, when I got it, it was... Quite interesting and all of that, and I did have a slip of slide in some of my on, uh, off camera things and all that. And I do still use bits and pieces from Backyard Pack, um, but I just don't really use the main, like, I don't really use it that much, so that's why it's on this list. Um, I definitely think it could have had a little bit more of a um, like, selection for more stuff, um, I think it was more so based on, basically, based behind the slip and slide and stuff like that, but, um, it's okay, because it is a stuff pack, it's not supposed to be having a lot of more stuff in it, but I think that it could have, like, added a little bit more, like, something else, you know what I mean? Um, number two for the least favorite is... A fairly recent one, and that's Machino Stuff Pack. So, Machino is a company that has very um, unique and different type of clothes, but they are very expensive. Um, and it's pretty much a way for your Sims to wear, like, expensive name brand clothing. And I did get it, but... And I did have a couple of my Sims wear some of the Machino Stuff. Um, and I'm not saying that the stuff that they got was bad, or what came with it was bad. It just, it's something I could definitely not really need, but I could, in other words, it's something I could live without, but I got it anyways, you know? So, the number one least favorite pack is, believe it or not, Jungle Adventure. So, I don't know why, I just, I never had any of my Sims really go to the jungle. I got the pack, I never really did anything with it, even off camera. I don't know really what to do, like, we got a new world, we got a new vacation world. Um, I don't know what you're supposed to do, honestly. Like, I've used it very little, um... In some of my series, but not, like, on camera, or if I was on camera, it wasn't for a long period of time. I don't know what it is. I, I just couldn't get behind Jungle Adventure. It looked amazing. Um, it just could be my opinion, but I don't know. I just never really got behind Jungle Adventure. Um, so, moving on to my top three favorites. So, number three, before we get into that, I want to do an honorable mention because I don't know how it's going to be, but it looks like it's going to be really, really interesting, and I do plan on getting it. And that is Realm of Magic. Now, the reason why I'm saying this is because Realm of Magic has already came out for play, uh, for PS or PC or computer, whatever you want to call it, but it has not came out for playstation 4 or xbox yet so i do not have it yet so upon it does come out for that i do plan on getting it um i hope it's as good as a lot of people are saying i'm hoping so because as of right now i need something and i really have a good storyline going on with that's revolving around that so um yeah 
Now let's get into the packs that are already out in my top three favorites. So, number three is Vampires. Now, I know that a lot of my Sims do not, are, or are not Vampires in my own series stuff. Um, I don't know. I just... I like the concept of vampires, and I like supernatural beings in The Sims. Um, but I think there are a lot of work to maintain. Um, but I think that I might have to bring in a vampire. You never know. Um, I might also potentially be doing a supernatural series soon, so you never know. But anyways, moving on to number two. Number two is cats and dogs. So, I know not all my families in The Sims have a cat or a dog. But, there's something about having cats and dogs in The Sims that I was really, really excited about. And even though you can't really do much with them, besides, like, you can't control them or anything like that. I really like the concept of cats and dogs. Like, it makes it more realistic. It And... I'm a big animal lover, so I love the fact that you can now have cats and dogs in The Sims. So, that is my second favorite pack. Now, my all-time favorite pack so far that is out for PlayStation 4, Sims 4, and that is Island Living. So, I don't know what it was about Island Living, but I really like the concept of new cultures coming to The Sims... And being able to diversify The Sims a little bit. And that is why I really like the concept of um, island living. Because they have all these different new cultures that could be incorporated. Like Samoan, um, Tongan, uh, and other different nationalities that could already be in there. Um... I do currently have a Samoan Sim in my series. If you guys don't know, Tagaloa is actually a Samoan Sim. Um, he's in my Sims World series. I also have a new character, fairly new character, being a part of a Sims Teen Mom storyline that started um, actually this past Teen Mom episode, which was actually a Tonga. Uh, Tongan character uh, from T Tonga I think it's where it is but that's his nationality so that's quite interesting for that dynamic I also love the world like I love the fact that you can really pretty much live in a paradise like um, Hawaii and all that that was another nationality that you could do you can even do Hawaiian if you really wanted to um Personally, right now, I do not have any Hawaiian Sims in my series, but I really should try to incorporate one from Hawaii. Um, so, and also in addition to that, I like the concept of having mermaids in The Sims. I just really wish they had more gameplay, like... Um, like, being able to do more, like, I know you can do, like, the Siren's Call and all that, but that's more for a bad mermaid. For a good mermaid, I wish you really had, like, a little bit more diversity and all that that they could do. Um, but, altogether, I like the Island Living uh, pack the most because of the world and all that diversity and all that that you can have with it by bringing in different cultures to the game. Um, and addition to that, uh, this has nothing to do with packs, but I also seen on the Sims 4 community page or whatever, I've seen like the live streams that Sims do. I watch them on YouTube. Um, but it's not out for Sims P, uh, S4 yet, but I know that here shortly that they're going to be incorporating Muslim style clothing um and that's going to be quite interesting because i've never really thought of having a muslim sim but um now that they are incorporating something like that i could potentially bring that out and i really like the fact that they're bringing out all these different diversity stuff for the sims that um brings all these different opportunities for different nationalities and sims so 
Thank you guys for watching. Have a great day. And next Wednesday's video of the week will be two matches in WWE 2K19. So these will be the final two matches that I will ever show in WWE 2K19. Because 2K20 is coming out soon. So that is why. But peace.